the title of my book is not just Paul the Ancient Letter Writer, but it has a subtitle, An Introduction to Epistolary Analysis. Many people may well wonder today what in the world is epistolary analysis. Well, it's a way of reading Paul's letters in which you take seriously the fact that he wrote letters. He didn't write a gospel, he didn't write a parable, he didn't write apocalyptic, he wrote letters. And if you know something about ancient letters, their form and their structure and the function that different epistolary conventions had in letters of that day, that puts us in a much better position to understand what Paul was saying to his readers and what they, that is his original audience, would have understood. So epistolary analysis involves looking not just at what a biblical writer says, but how they say it. Taking very seriously the letter writing conventions, I could call them the stereotyped expressions, the fixed sayings, which were common in letters of that day and which had a particular function. And again, the more we see those things in Paul, the better we are to understand what function he was intending to have by them and we can become better readers, better understanders of what the apostle was saying. One quick example of what epistolary analysis involves can be seen quickly in the opening of Paul's letter to Romans. You perhaps have read Romans many times but have missed the fact that his letter opening is much, much longer than any of his other letters. And the length of the letter opening isn't just because he wrote a long letter. No, it has a much more important and very practical reason. You see, Paul is writing to a church that he didn't start, he didn't establish, and what's more, they're somewhat suspicious about his orthodoxy. And so before the Apostle Paul can write to them and address all kinds of important issues that are going on in the house churches in Rome, he needs to introduce himself. And not just introduce himself, but really win over the confidence of the Roman readers so that they will not just hear him in the letter, but they will heed him in the letter. That they'll accept the gospel as Paul uh, preaches it, so to say, in the body of his letter to the Romans. And so when Paul expands the letter opening, it isn't by accident, it isn't by fluke chance. No, the Apostle Paul has skillfully and deliberately expanded the letter opening in order to secure the confidence of his Roman readers. And this is just one small of many, many examples which can be seen in the New Testament of Paul's gifted ability as a letter writer.